chasing these boats. I may be too late. Hopefully we can get a shot or two off here. I missed it. Story of my life. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Behind the Door adventure. I'm Kevin O'Donnell, and this morning we're down at Sunset Park in Sturgeon Bay next to Finn Cantieri Bay Ship Company. And uh, it's now January 16th, the day after the Sioux Locks have closed, and all the boats are coming off the lakes for a winter layup. And this morning, the Case and Callaway kind of snuck in here through the bay. And uh, I tried to get down here in time to catch her, and I just missed it, coming by the park before she went around the uh, James Barker over here. And the guys from Sarder Marine, Steve Ross and his crew, Captain Steve, uh, were in their tugs helping her push her into place and tuck her in for the winter. So I think what I'll do is... Uh, I'll head over to the parking lot over by Bay Ship and see if we can't get a glimpse of the Case and Callaway as they get ready to tuck her in for the winter. There are still, I think, three boats left out on the lake. Uh, the American Century, which is due in tomorrow, a thousand footer. And then, uh, let's see, the Joseph Block, one of my favorite boats out on the lakes. Uh, I took a photo of her New Year's Eve 2019. I'll show you that photo now. Uh, when she came in through the canal that night and uh, I was out on the, the pier to meet her about 1130 at night. It was about 10 below zero as I recall that, that, that night too. So uh, yeah, that was a fun night. But I got a great photo of her. And then who else do we have? We have the John Boland who is uh, coming up I think from Indiana. Uh, we'll be here in the next day or two. So at least I'll have three more opportunities to see if we can get uh, some aerial photos. I, I have my drone with me, but it's snowing and it's blowing and it's sleeting. It's just a horrible, horrible morning. And I don't want to put my drone up uh, in weather like this. If it ices up, it'll just go down into the bay. So yeah, that wouldn't be good. Not a whole lot of ice. That's why the boats are out so late. Even though the Sioux locks closed on the 15th, boats, many of them were running right up to the very last minute because there's so much open water out on the Great Lakes. Here in the bay, there's some ice, not a whole lot. Uh, the tugs have been helping to break it up, but uh, yeah, let's head on over to the parking lot and see if we can't get a glimpse of them tucking the Callaway in. All right. Well, look who showed up. It's Officer Square Nuts. Did you bring the weather too? I did bring this weather, isn't it lovely? You know, I wish we had at least got some snow on the ground if it's gonna snow. I know, this is terrible. This is just been awful. It all rained yesterday and yeah. it's been sloppy. Foggy. Good day to stay inside.
Hey guys. Boy, you talk about being in a rush. I got a call from my buddy, Steve Ross, who's the captain of the Sardar Marine Fleet in town, the Tug Fleet, uh, operations manager and uh, retired U.S. Coast Guard. And uh, I was originally scheduled to go out with him uh, on one of the tugs for one of these Lakers coming in. And uh, he called me today saying, fortunately, unfortunately for COVID, I'm not uh, able to go with them. Their insurance company won't allow anybody on board. He can't even get his Coast Guard buddies on board with him. So, uh, he did tell me though, that the Joseph Block, which is one of my all time favorite boats, 728 foot, 78 feet wide, is coming in through the canal. So I hustle down here and I'm gonna catch her just in time. I gotta set you down for now because I gotta put my drone up and I gotta start some uh, video here. So, all right. This is unbelievable, guys, right at dusk. Such a beautiful sky. I got three cameras going, four cameras going. I, <laughs> I have the Osmo Action recording me. I'm taking stills with my Canon 5D. I'm taking video and stills with the, uh, whoop, with the drone. And I got a movie going on my M50. So, awesome. This is unbelievable, awesome. like uh, the old television show where the guy's spinning the plates on the poles on stage. Yeah, that's what I felt like. Spinning plates with four cameras going and a boat coming right at me. I don't know what I got. I hope I got something decent. There were two other photographers out here with drones. So that was a little scary. I've never flown around other drones before and uh, we we're just being careful not to get anywhere near each other shouting out our position and our altitude so hopefully they got decent stuff as well it's just coming on dark now boy we got some beautiful light there just beautiful right as she was coming in between the markers coming into the into the channel so now, I need to make a mad dash into town and see if we can't get her coming through the bridges. All right, see you there. been an interesting morning so far. I look out the front window of the house and I see right in front of our 
place about a mile out freighter the american century making for the canal gonna lay up in sturgeon bay for the winter it looks like she wasn't on the schedule but she's definitely coming in the canal so that's where we're walking to this morning we're at the land trust at the canal almost there all right just another quarter mile or so Yeah. Uh, I want to get around to kind of the back side of it uh, and uh, get some perspective of it alongside the pier here. Uh, but I'll probably be flying around to the back of it. Yeah. Okay. What are you flying? What type of drone? Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll try to keep an eye on it, so. All right, so your man's got a drone here. He's going to be putting up and uh, try to stay out of each other's way here. Yeah, it could be interesting. A lot of glare, though. Jeez, a lot of glare off the water. So, it be interesting to see why the American Century decided to come in here for winter layup. Last boat, I think, to come in is supposed to be the John Bowling, which last I saw was in Taos, Michigan. So, nice calm day anyway. Shouldn't have any trouble keeping her centered, going down the canal. Now she's just lining up now. More minutes. So I'm going for a bit of a, a different composition here. I got low in front of this little overflow area that's filled with ice to get the ice in the foreground to stay nice and low with 
the rocks in the mid ground and then the boat coming in and the sun is at about two o'clock here we're going to get some nice sunlight off the side of the boat here and uh, yeah this is different uh, we'll, see. we'll see if it turns out Decided to put on a polarizing filter. There's just too much glare off that water. I gotta hurry now and get that drone up. to juggle three or four cameras making a video taking photos taking drone shots it's a lot to remember My heart is full. I'm grateful to have experienced and chronicled another winter layup here on the peninsula. It's the highlight of my year. It feels so good to reacquaint myself with these boats, some of which I've been following for decades and are as familiar and cherished to me as old friends. I am forever in awe of their hulking yet delicate beauty and how they become one 
with the landscape. Their sheer size and strength and energy bring me an inner peace and provide a certain comfort like no other. And as the excitement of another winter layup fades into memory and the shipping season comes to a close, I feel a bit like those first few minutes after ringing in the new year. The moment is past. Time for renewal. Time to go home. Time for a nice, long winter's sleep. It's been a tough year for the Lakers and for their crews. I appreciate the invaluable contributions these elegant Iron Angels provide, as well as the service of their Iron Crews, who now will greet their families and relish a couple of well-deserved months off. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you down the road.